Hey guys, Elite Daily Genario here. And today I bring you a 4 vs 4 for Rome Total War on one of Bell's mod map maps. I'm not sure which one it is, but um, I got a little bored of doing them on the grassy flatlands. But this one still provides uh, some trees, um, a pretty even battlefield with a different scenery. So I'm, com I'm commanding Armenia. Um, I have four units of gold, gold heavy spearmen. I have uh, four units of gold tech archers, and I have five units of gold, gold cataphracts and one unit of gold tech cataphract archers. My ally, first ally, um, Masonic Adam, I think it's what it is. Uh, he has one, two, three, four, five, five units of two upgrades. Um, Royal Pikemen, so they're not the strongest. Two upgrades on his companions. Uh, not companions, is um, creations, and he's also got six units of gold, gold companions. So he's put his upgrades in his companion cavalry. Um, down here is um, Gaius Julius Caesar. He was pretty new, I think. Um, he had three gold, gold um, legionary first cohorts, uh, four gold, gold praetorian cavalry. General Roman Armour General and Archers. Um, I might just pause guys just quickly because it's getting going quite fast. Um, then there was Elder, who was again another Macedonian player. He had five units of gold gold Royal Pikemen and three units of gold gold Cretian Archers and four units of gold gold Companion Cavalry. Um, the enemy, or the, the other guys, um, first is um, Linith Linithorix which obviously is a type of ancient armour. Um, he's playing as the Julio Romans. There are really lots of legionary um, first cohorts. Um, no upgrades, obviously. Um, he's got like um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 19 first cohorts. So he broke the CWB margin. He's also got um, <laughs> 7 Archer Auxilia. Um, the Scipio player has four Archer Auxilia with gold attack upgrades, I think, or three, got three upgrades. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six units of urban cohorts, can't tell the upgrades, or if they've got any. Three Triarii, uh, a Roman Armored General, and um, if I remember correctly, his hidden Praetorian cavalry in this woods. Um, the Parthian player, um, pretty standard Parthian army. Um, he's got six gold gold cataphracts, two gold gold Persian cavalry. And the last player, um, uh, the young wolf was a Scipio player, I forgot to name them. The Parthian player was uh, Equites Fail. So um, I'm sure Emperor Equite would not agree with him. Um, anyway, um, and there was M S Super Guy One, who was the Brutii, is three um, Archer Auxilia, five Gold Gold Urban Cohort, and four Gold Gold Praetorian Cavalry. Um, and this battle is rife with our team using tactics and the enemy team not using tactics. Um, as you can see, Scipio has deployed way too far away, and the Parthian has come way too far forward. And the Brutii does not support him, even though the Parthian shouldn't have should have planned out with him. Um, me and my ally, on the other hand, um, Mason here, he goes. Um, I tell him he goes for the archers, and I encircle these um, Roman infantry that attack in a very, very bad formation. Um, but he'll deal with the archers with his cavalry, and there's the Parthian general already being killed. Basically, he really went after them all by himself um, and before his ally was ready so um, that was a really bad move so as you can see here um, there's so many Roman infantry that it's um, quite wearying on my men as you can see I did lose a few um, but I'm going to pull out and then recharge basically um, but most of my men have um, they've lost about 10 men per unit but I mean I've killed a heap of his men but there's so many of his um, of his infantry, um, but I'm going to recharge so I can get the charge bonus out again. Um, yeah, there's so many of these first cohorts, it's just very hard to actually beat them all down, um, even, I, even when I had them surrounded. Um, he's going to get Peeler off, um, so I'm going to lose a few men. 
um, there are these um, raw pikemen and my um, heavy spearmen are going to come in and finish that off. Archers are coming into the backs here um, and my men are punching down from the front. So and while um, the Julio player loses all his archers, so um, terrible um, you ally in, in the Scipio, he, didn't, he just deployed way too far back and did nothing to help him. They just arched up the front and they just got owned as well, so um, that's just terrible work really. Um, terrible, um, terribly bad allies really. But as you can see, basically um, he uh, Masson got rid of all the um, archers and I killed the infantry. Um, and he did a wee bit to help with the infantry, but um, that's the Julio player dead. Also, the Parthian is dead. Um, his mistake was simple. Um, he attacks prematurely on his own. Um, he could have been quite effective if he'd teamed up with this um, Brutii player. Um, now, the Brutii cavalry is over here um, doing quite a lot of damage. But um, again, um, bad move because he has allowed them to be isolated from his infantry. If he brought his infantry up, um, he could have easily beaten the uh, both of these players because they didn't have much cavalry left of their own. Um, but now he's let, let his um, cavalry become quite isolated. So now they have to fight this um, Macedonian and um, SBQR force on their own. Um, as you can see, uh, his urban cohorts could have come in and cleaned out the house, but um, he's just not doing it. So, um, again, mistake. Um, he's doing it now, it seems, or he's trying to move up a little bit, but not enough. Uh, the mistake is um, dividing your forces like that, basically. Um, in a situation like this, don't let your cavalry go in without your infantry, or vice versa. Um, and basically, again, the Parthian, um, he got destroyed because he went in all by himself. And the, um, well, they, they could easily just take their time with him. Um, and that's, that's the, this battle is riddled with our team um, working together and their team not working together. And of course, in which case, our team quite comfortably wins this battle. Um, so we're just going to steadily march on towards the um, Scipio player. Uh, in the meantime, though, this battle is a wee bit um, more in close. So um, look at this elder's going to come in and do a little a couple of strikes against these um, Archer Auxilia, and he's going to pull out again. Although I probably, I wouldn't have done that in all honesty because, um, well, he, as you can see, he achieved nothing really, and he's look, he's lost quite a lot of his cavalry to missile fire. So it was a waste of a waste of. It was like an, an interesting, like a good idea, but um, he shouldn't do that um, if he's not got um, you know safety from you know again support and stuff so he's going to try it again and um, this time he might be a little more effective because those Arctra auxilia are a little more exposed but nonetheless um probably not worth it i'll be wanting those cav against these praetorians although they're weakened um they need all their cavalry now if i had been the um spqr player i would have formed up right behind these um main Macedonian front line simply to uh, shield um, the flanks from um, these cavalry and um, add some additional thickness to the line if it's necessary. Um, he was fairly new though. Um, he couldn't understand that the game had any rules at all. He figured you should just go into battle, every battle, no rules. Um, some battles are no rules, and some games are no rules, but um, you're going to quickly find when you play Rome Total War that not everything's very balanced, such as having 20 berserkers versus an army of chosen swordsmen. Um, chosen swordsmen, about four times, five times as many men, they're going to get owned. Um, so that's why you have rules. Um, of course, they are the, like I said, the no-rules games, if you want no-rule games, but um, most people who play no-rules um, games end up, in my experience, complaining about someone bringing a whole heap of um, elephants or a whole heap of berserkers, but, of course, they had no rules, so what do you expect? It's why you play games with a certain level of rules, because it's um, better that way. It makes them more realistic and fun. Um, I mean, like I said, you know, 20 chosen swords and versus... 10 berserkers, the berserkers will win. It's absurd though, when the, if you consider how many more men 20, 20 chosen swordsmen would be versus 20, I mean 10 berserkers, they'd be like, they'd be like 200 berserkers versus like 
1,200 um, swordsmen, and the swordsmen just get owned. So anyway, we're moving up. Um, again, I really enjoy my four versus fours. Um, it's a lot of fun. I'd like to try one on Medieval 2, but um, it's quite hard because there's not always that many people on Medieval 2. Nearly had one to go the other day, but it um, had connection problems, unfortunately. But um, to me, it's obvious that the Scipio has probably got some stuff hidden in the woods here. Um, his forces are not heavily upgraded, so he could obviously afford to do it. Now, um, the smartest thing, in my opinion, for the Scipio player to do here would be to retreat his army into the forest. Now, the reason I say that is, this Macedonian infantry is not well upgraded, so... Um, and he's got Urban Cohort, even though they've got no, no um, upgrades, they'll be more than a match for them. Um, and our force's greatest assets are a cavalry. My cavalry, obviously I'm Armenia, so I'm going to be about my cataphracts. And these um, companions have got most of the upgrades. So uh, in the woods, both of them suffer. Cavalry do worse in the woods. So um, in the woods would be the best place to go for him. Because um, our best units would get weakened. So he's going to start the Missile Duel um, in a very bad move. The Scipio player isolates this unit urban cohort. Um, I'm going to use my archers here to shoot the flank. And he's going to charge forward and I'm just going to come straight in. I think I went into Wedge and I'm just going to smack it to pieces. Um, and that ends that unit of urban cohort. Completely and utterly annihilated. Um, I don't even think we lost any men at all in that charge. One cataphract. So he wasted an extremely useful infantry unit then. Um, a very bad move. Now I believe I'm temp I was tempted to use my horse arts just to see if I could um, see any cavalry come out of the woods. Because um, I was still convinced there was things hiding in the woods. Now, this is Roman Armour General now. I believe he was going to link it up with his cavalry. I'm not sure though. Um, but I'm bringing around my men around here, but I'm still a wee bit certain or suspicious of the fact that um, there was cavalry out there. So over here, um, this fight hasn't yet quite started, but um, now it's just the urban cohort by themselves. Um, the Praetorian, his Praetorian cav got isolated and destroyed um, by those SPQR legionnaires. So I'm going to form myself out the side here like this so I can bring in my infantry to help against any cavalry that might get exposed. Um, although my, um, my men are depleted, so they'd probably lose. Um, they'd do well, but they'd still lose, I think, against a full set of um, Praetorians, although they probably don't have the same upgrade. So, um, yeah. So, uh, over here, let's see what else is going on. Um, and a very poor manoeuvre. Um, he puts his men into extremely deep formations. This allows them to be easily outflanked. Um, and he keeps retreating. Um, but uh, he's not really doing all that great, in my opinion. So um, it's obvious to me that the Roman generals linked up with his hidden units in the woods. Um, I'm not foolish. But um, here he's gone to move up the attack. Um, and I'm going to use my infantry to outflank, um, just in, but just in case I can easily pull him back if necessary. But he's going to spring his trap any minute now, and I'm aware that he's going to try something like this. Um, at the time I remember being quite feeling quite aware. And I decided to focus my arch fire on these Triarii, um, and I've already destroyed one unit. Um, basically because the Triarii present the biggest problem, in my opinion, to our um, cavalry. Um, the urban cohort are not really an issue. But um, he's going to come out with his cavalry in a minute now. So I was going to um, attempt a strike. Um, they come in here. He, again, he isolates a unit of even cohort, and I'm going to finish it off. And I'm, I'm still waiting for him to spring this trap. So now he brings his men in. Um, he wants to go after me for some reason. Um, but that's going to leave his flanks exposed. And here comes his um, cavalry. And I knew they were going to be... I actually anticipated they were in the wrong area. None the, nonetheless, um, I'm going to pull my cataphracts away when I see them coming. Um, but they're a bit tired. I'm just going to run them towards my infantry. But uh, I'm going to get snagged up here, which is a nuisance. But I'm going to rush my um, 
Mina to assist, and he's going to bring his um, companions around to assist. Um, but his men are doing um, have actually got quite a lot of upgrades. He must have spent them on his cataphracts. I'm his cataphracts is um, cavalry. So my men are having a hard time with this because they're depleted and are slightly tired against this um, upgraded and rested units of um, of a uh, cataphract. Uh, um, Praetorians, but my men start to um, get around them now because um, they get some infantry in, um, and of course the companions are now on their way. But I managed to beat them in before I actually need them anyway. But uh, he did do quite a bit of damage there, but that finishes the. Um it's just the phone, guys, which I'm going to ignore. Um, but he finishes off the. Um we finish off the. Scipii um, infantry and cavalry in time, and the Brutii player is defeated as well. Um, as you can see, um, he's just very much isolated and alone, and that phone really annoying me. Um, anyway, um, thank God it ended. Um, my phone always bloody interrupts me. Uh, anyway, um, basically that's the end of the battle, guys. Um, and all I can say is. Um, we won mostly due to teamwork, um, or, and their lack of teamwork. Um, the Julii was completely isolated and ditched by this Scipio player who fought only for himself by staying back here. The Parthian went too fast to head of his Brutii ally. Um, basically, we had to just to fight them two versus one for every battle, basically, because they didn't work together and they didn't plan their strikes and attacks and plans. So, um, if you don't the word of the day for these battles is in every team battle work together otherwise you're going to lose it's that simple um, unless you're extremely good um, you'll lose just about every time because it's just the nature of this kind of battles isn't it so um, work together have a plan and because they didn't we have a heroic victory they just got destroyed particularly the Scipii and um, Julio players um, as you can see, uh, me and my, got, my ally got tons of kills, but everyone on our team did really well. Um, I had four, 487 men, 776 kills, and 347 men remaining. Mason had 588 men deployed, he got 722 kills, so he was right up there with me. Um, he had 544 men remaining. Guys, Julius Caesar, 348. 247 kills, 100 men remaining, and Elder, 534, and 347 men killed, and 273 remain, men remaining. So, um, the Brudio player did pretty good. He has failed it okay, although he rushed in. He could have been quite decisive. Um, but the other two got very, very much destroyed. So, um, as you can see, Cataphrax again got loads of kills. Um, Heavy Spearmen got their share and Archers got their share. Cataphrax Archers, they did well as well. But as you can see, the Cataphrax all did very well for very few casualties. Um, killed at least three times their own losses easily. More than that, four and five in some cases. So, um, But basically, um, we just worked together um, and we were able to defeat our opponents one at a time. And it was a piece of cake. Basically, they just didn't work together. And if you don't work together in these kind of battles, you don't win. And that's why we got a heroic victory and they got a crushing defeat. So, um, thanks for all seven guys for playing. Um, and I hope you all enjoyed it like I did. And I hope you viewers enjoyed this video um, and picked up any use anything useful from it. And um, if you've got any ideas, leave your comments. And um, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you next time.